sad, you could just. Um, I'm in fucking Houston right now, and I'm like, what am I doing for my birthday? Not shit. I ain't doing nothing for my birthday. I'm gonna be here on the bus, driving around the country, meeting y'all, and then, uh, then hopefully I'll get to go home, and I'll get to sleep, and I'll get to, you know whatever um somebody tell me something fucking funny please because a bitch is going through it yo i don't know if y'all could tell i'm fucking going through it i'm like i need to like make music i need to like record music make music fucking drop videos like i need to do some shit because i've been fucking going crazy out here on the road i feel like last year i was going crazy on the road too I feel like, I don't know, I don't know what I need to fucking do, but I know I need to get my shit together, and I know that I need to make music, because that's when I feel good, I feel good when I fucking make music, and somebody brought up that I make a lot of heartbreak and sad and breakup songs, and I, I do, I guess I should make some, like, love songs, like, right, I don't know, I don't believe in that, what am I gonna say, uh, breakups are a lot better for me they're they're good for the soul i think you always find yourself when you break up with people you always find the better um yeah latinas are crazy latinas are definitely crazy i'm one i'm a crazy bitch um but puerto ricans are definitely crazier I'll tell you that much i think they beat mexicans for sure I've dated Mexican, I've dated Puerto Rican, I've dated, I've dated, I've never dated an Asian person. Hmm. Who knows? But yeah, we be crazy and shit, you know? Oh, I'm playing with this fucking brush, I just found it. My room is a mess. I would show you guys around, the back of the bus looks like craziness, and um, it's a mess, and I'm gonna do laundry tomorrow, hopefully in Dallas. Dallas, if you catch me at your local laundromat, it's because... Um, I'm fucking doing laundry somewhere so somebody in Dallas um, Don't snitch on me because one time I was doing laundry in Dallas when I was filming Queen of the South because I was living at this hotel And so I was doing laundry and fucking people were just taking pictures of me and I felt very awkward because I'm like yo I, I am doing laundry at a laundromat right now like you know like the, you could have hooked me up with some quarters or something But you want to be taking pictures of me Damn, I wasn't even like using Tide or anything. I was using like some generic ass soap. So I was like, damn, I'm just out here struggling. But I really was struggling because when I'm on the road, like I got to do laundry at a laundromat. I got to um, take my fucking bag of laundry and then I got to take that shit in a lift and then do it. What the fuck? Like, it's hard out here for a pimp i tried the whole buying clothes on the road but unfortunately i wear the like i i always wear black so like now i just have like 45 black jeans ripped of course and like 45 million fucking black of the same looking shirts and jackets and shit i don't really like color and um yeah i've been trying to wear a little bit more color i bought some like colorful stuff but i don't be feeling i'd be feeling like i'm a fraud like you know i'm like emo and like sad and then i'm wearing like colorful shit and then people expect me to be happy and i'm like i'm not fucking happy bitch don't talk to me right now i know the tie-dye shirt tells you differently but i'm not fucking happy right now so don't talk to me i'm just kidding uh, i'm being dramatic actually a lot of times i'm being dramatic for my own comedic fucking purposes sometimes i like talking shit and seeming like i'm mad and then it's just funny to me but i think people don't get that sometimes and then they just think i'm a bitch but i'm not i'm just kind of talking shit feels good feels good to talk shit what the fuck is watching you on video hmm? i bought this thing so i could go live for y'all more often but i bought it like two weeks ago and i've never used it and so now i'm going live and i'm clearly over here and it, this is here so i don't think that worked but maybe it will you guys want to hear a funny story? So all this tour, I haven't had a pinky nail. I ripped off my pinky nail. All my nails are done. I have no pinky nail. Tell me that's not some fucked up shit. It is. 
Fucking uh, Diana, I know you hit me up. I'm sorry. I'm going to hit you up. I promise. I know that I have to get you into the show and everything. But, yeah. Um, but anyway, back to what I was saying. I have had no pinky nail. And hopefully I'm going to get a pinky nail that grows. But I ripped it off doing some rock star shit. I don't know what the fuck I was doing. I really be getting in over my head when it comes to some of this stuff. I'd be like crowd surfing and jumping off things. Then I watch the video the next day and I'm like, I don't 